Gavin's Hawk. Uh, Gavin, congratulations on the win. Hard fought victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after a performance like that? Uh, always always uh, happy with a win like that. Oh, that sounds like it's going to feedback. No, for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough fight, and, you know, those are the kind of fights that make you grow. I think that the fact that we just got another three rounds in is great for experience, too. You know, my octagon time is building up and getting getting some familiarity in there, man. I think I just, I think I just got comfortable in the UFC octagon. I just found a, I just found a step of comfort, so I think that's a very dangerous thing. Man. And then Billy had a lot of support behind him from the fans and the promotion. I think people were expecting this to be a really hard-fought win, but after spending 15 minutes in there with him, what did you make of his skill set? I didn't know who had the support. I went dark on social media for the last three weeks. I don't care about this stuff. It doesn't matter who supports you. My team supports me, and I worked my ass off, and I came in fit. And I came in ready, so all this thing about support, social media, stuff like this, is nothing. I'm just happy I got the win, you know. At the end of the day, it's about who's getting the win. So I'm, I'm happy. I didn't have to do that job. He built the fight for me, and I just had to do my, do my usual business, you know. What did you make of his skill set in there? I think you refer to it as like throwing baseballs in there on the. Yeah, he's throwing ball. He's throwing, he's throwing fastballs constantly, he, and he does. And there. They're pretty hard, you know. I, I I didn't think he was much of a puncher, but he's thrown with all of himself, and he's got this like rubbery wit to his shots. And I was like, okay, you better, you don't want to get hit by this guy, you know. You want to keep your keep your hands up. I tried to move, and I heard my Coco yelling for footwork and keep it moving and don't let him set. And so I tried to use those key those key phrases and and stick to the plan. And I think for the most part, I think we did it. Yeah, I'm getting a nod. We did it. So, and then one final one, is there any specific name you have in mind or when you want to get back into the octagon? I know they have a couple of Fight Island trips in, uh, at the beginning of the year, but when do you want to get back in there? I'm good for every four months. I said that before, so there's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a rest period. I, I definitely I have to quarantine for two weeks. I'm hoping I can lock some of these guys up with me so we can just continue the training, continue the growth. And uh, I'm, down for, I'm down for whatever comes. You know, um, There's been a lot of people asking that. I told them, I said, the usual tendency is to get someone who's been in the UFC for a while with some experience. A lot of people brought up Alex Caceres to the point where I started bringing him up in, in interviews. And I think that would be a fun fight. He's on a three-fight win streak. He's a self-call. He's tall. He moves a lot. So it would be a different look for me to have to fight this guy. Um, he's got a good right hook. He's, he's moving. And he's got a lot of experience, right? And I'm just getting my footing on experience. So I think those kind of tests would be, again, I don't mean this in any disrespectful way to Alex. I'm a fan. I really, I really think the guy is uh, – a good human too so that would be that would be fun and uh, and there's a long list of other guys as well but that's out of my hands so uh, you mentioned how it, you said that he'd be a different style for you to face is that something you enjoy finding unique looks and challenging yourself with them yeah absolutely as an athlete you definitely want to go every route that you can and become as deep as as you can be you know as far as challenges stuff we're going to see all kinds of stuff you see all kinds of stuff in the gym where you have to spare different guys sometimes you see tough amateurs come in and beat the brakes off some pros for a round but um you know you have to be ready for whatever whatever comes and alex moves around goes backwards a little bit he's very tricky i think that would be something that would be very challenging something i don't particularly like <laughs> Okay, thank you guys.